There is obviously no denying Damon played some role in it, but whether the death witnessed at the end of the premiere was a misstep on his part or a misunderstanding on theirs remains to be seen. Damon is asked multiple times by Rhaenyra in House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 2 whether he gave that command, and he repeatedly says he did not, but there's reason to believe he's not telling the truth. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Although House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 1's ending left it murky exactly what Damon had told Blood and Cheese to do, there are some big clues that he gave the order for Jahari's death. That it cuts away from Damon right when the hired killers ask what to do if they can't find Amon is telling alone, but more so is that they later reveal he told them a son for a son. Obviously there's missing context there, but it does imply he told them to kill another son if they could not find Amond. Also, Damon's words to Rhaenyra do not, technically, outright say he didn't tell them to kill a son for a son and that any would do. He says he was clear in his instructions, which is true, as we saw, he says they did not concern a little child, but that could simply mean he did not say those words directly, later, when riled up and looking like he might even admit the truth, he says it was a mistake. But that mistake could have been having another son killed. It makes sense that Damon would give the order for Prince Jahari's death. He clearly wanted to take action, any action, rather than sitting on Dragonstone and just waiting for the war to happen. There's a sense of him wanting to provoke the Greens. And while it makes Rhaenyra look bad, as he would surely have known, he's more out for his own selfish ends and to give himself the feeling of being in power. In a way, whether Damon really did order Jahari's death is a moot point. It doesn't matter what he actually did, what's important is what he's perceived to have done by both Rhaenyra and by the audience. For the former, it exposes her deep-rooted lack of trust in him, that even if he didn't do it, she believes him capable, and cannot fully believe he did not, and therefore will struggle to have him by her side as the dance of the dragons progresses. They obviously love each other in some way, but it shows how flimsy and toxic their relationship is. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.